I swear, after making this video, I never realized how many applications I really use on a daily basis on my MacBook Pro. So brace yourself, as this is a complete list of free, awesome applications to get the most out of your Mac. So let's quickly get started. Now this first one I want to quickly show you guys is called Hider. And when this is enabled, basically it hides all your desktop icons to give you a clean layout. So it allows you to be more focused and it just makes everything look cleaner. And then if you want to reverse it, simply just click on it, shell desktop icons, and bam, everything is back to normal. Test Switcher is the second application I want to quickly show you. It's perfect if you have the new latest MacBook Pros with the touch bar, as I'll actually imitate the dock down here on your screen. So what I normally typically do, I have my docks hidden away, but when I want to open up an application, I can simply just go on my touch bar, tap on the app, and it basically opens up. I can also tap and hold if I want to force close it or set it as my new favorites. I just really like this dock because it allows me to actually utilize the touch bar more than usual and also frees up some real estate screen space on my display. Now for number three is Night Owl. What I really like about this application is ever since Apple gave us the ability to switch between light or dark mode, what Night Owl does is it allows you to actually have like a schedule you can actually allow this thing to automatically switch between light mode during the early days of the day and dark mode as it gets darker throughout the day. It just gives your Mac a uniqueness feel. And I guess you could say it's also easier for your eyes to switch between these modes during the time of day it is. You can also manually set a schedule if you want or certain apps to be dark mode and you can also allow some apps to be on light mode. And if you want to, you can also disable this so you can manually switch between light mode or dark mode just by a few clicks instead of going into the system settings. Now this fourth one I want to show you is called Annotate. Now if you're running a latest iOS device, you know if you, when you take a screenshot on those devices you're allowed to scribble or add some text to your screenshots. Well with Annotate, what this allows you to do, whenever you take a screenshot on your desktop, you have the option and choice if you want to also do the same thing what you're able to do on your smartphone. So you can add text or scribble and save it and this way you can send it to somebody quicker. And it auto saves as soon as you hit done. So before I usually had to open up Photoshop with this, I could just do it all with just a few clicks. Spectacle is the fifth app I want to show you. What I really like about this application, before I did use this app called Magnify, which was like a dollar, this is free to download and basically does the exact same thing. But a little bit better I think. Now since I have a small screen MacBook, this is the 13 inch model, but whenever you open up multiple windows, even an issue on all other Mac devices, it's difficult to utilize the maximum screen real estate that you have. But with this application, it allows you to actually snap it the apps on any corner of the screen allowing you to not only be more organized and more productive but it's very quick in doing so you simply just hold down option and command and you can use the arrow keys on whatever side of the window screen you want the window to snap on and then you go click on it again if you want to make the window size smaller on that side or larger now for number six is one that i frequently usually use when i'm watching videos like on netflix for instance this application is called Helium, similar to like Picture in Picture, where you have this little window where you can move it anywhere around the screen, but it will overlap the window that you're working on, allowing you to have a little viewpoint of whatever video you're watching. Now some video websites like Netflix, for instance, doesn't support this. But with Helium, if you ever encounter this, you simply just launch the app, copy that video streaming service URL, then on top of Helium, Click on locate and paste that URL. Allow it to load and you basically have a little web browser right here that will overlap whatever window you're working on. Allowing you to multitask or get more distracted. You go, you see here we also have full control of everything. Like we could pause, play, skip, and all that good stuff. So it's an awesome app for this occasion. And Feminine is our number seventh. And what this application typically allows you to do is disable the sleep mode if ever, let's say you're uploading something on the internet and you don't want your laptop to go in sleep mode or desktop. Well, with this app, you can actually fully disable this or extend the timer. If you leave it on an infinity, the desktop will stay on until as long as you want. And then you can manually hit end to make it all go back to normal. Or it can actually allow it to sleep in 50 or 10 minutes or so, or even an hour. 
But that's basically the entire concept to this application. For number 8, it's called Charge Berry. Now, I typically don't rely on third-party battery management applications to be honest, but since this laptop isn't doesn't have a removable battery like the older MacBook Pros do, and I plan on having my laptop for a long period of time, and last thing I want to do is shorten the longevity of its battery. With this battery management application, it allows me to always monitor the health of my battery, but not only that, whenever it hit like the crucial point where you should charge your MacBook, the application will advise you to charge it. So for example, for the maximum longevity you get out of your battery, never allow the battery to fully deplete. Roughly around 40 or 50% is when you want to start charging your Mac back up again. This application automatically monitors your battery health as well as how many cycles you went through and will also show you the time remain if you use just the internet browser, watching movies, or just leave your laptop on standby mode. On a little toolbar on top, it not only shows you the percentage, but will also show you how much you could get out of that single charge. And then when you plug it in, it will also tell you how long it will take to charge it all the way up. Now for number 9, this is another crucial application I recommend for all MacBook owners, especially if you have the MacBook Pro. The app is called Fan Control. Now if you're a current MacBook Pro owner running the latest generation MacBooks, the one with this type of body style, you should be aware how hot these machines can get. Apple tune our MacBooks to run as silent as possible. As a result, these machines get extremely hot. When you install this on top will actually show you the temperature of your CPU or motherboards or other components you wish to monitor. But you could actually manually go in there and increase the fan speeds to let's say 4000 RPMs for example. When you do this, not only do you allow your computer to perform faster because you're preventing it from getting hot in the first place. So if you're working on a big project, this will help prevent your CPU from throttling and also allows you to rest your MacBook Pro on your lap without experiencing third degree burns. The 10th app I want to quickly show you, it's called Endurance. Endurance is really cool. It's kind of like low power mode on your iOS device, but for your laptop. If you're trying to squeeze out the most battery life you could get out of your laptop, check out Endurance. When Endurance is enabled, it basically will slow down the processor speed to preserve as much battery as possible. Monitor background application, so it will actually put some applications to sleep if it needs to. And of course, it will also dim down your screen to give you the most battery life you could get from that single charge. But that's basically the entire concept to this application. Now, with all these applications downloaded, your toolbar up here might be cluttered with a bunch of icons and applications. Well, that's where this one comes in, Dozer. I personally love this application because it allows me to free up a lot of space, making my entire layout look very clean. Now you see these two dots, if you tap on it, it will actually show the ones that you're hiding. If you tap on it again, it will actually hide the ones that you don't want to see right now. So I have, of course, the important ones, my volume control, battery percentage, and Wi-Fi as well as the clock. And for those who are unaware, let's open this one up. You can actually, if you hold command, you can actually move them around. Whatever outside between these two dots is what's going to be primarily shown. And whatever outside those two dots are going to be hidden whenever you select Dozer. And voila, they're gone. So it's really cool. Great way to really clean up your setup. Now this final one, I guess is an added bonus, but I personally use it sometimes, is the PlayStation 4 app. Yes, you can actually launch, well, it mirrors your PS4 by, when you launch this application, it will actually remotely turn on your PlayStation wirelessly if you're in the same Wi-Fi connection. And you can actually plug in your PS4 controller to your MacBook. So if somebody's hogging the TV, but you still want to play some of your favorite games on your Mac, Definitely do check out this application. You'll be surprised how many people that weren't aware that Sony actually has an app that allows you to do this on your MacBook or any other Mac device. And yes, you can actually turn off the PlayStation uh, with your MacBook as well, like you normally do on the PlayStation itself too. It's pretty cool. And before I forget, this one's probably one of the most crucial ones as well if you love saving storage space. App Cleaner. App Cleaner is an amazing free to download app. What it does is basically when you uninstall some applications, it leaves some caches, like other photos that are connected to that application. When you traditionally, when you dump it in a trash bin, it's just deleting the application, but it doesn't delete its saved files. With App Cleaner, when you click and drag this app, it not only deletes the app itself, 
but it will also delete its other files that's connected to so like cache data it will get rid of everything so this way you always have the maximum storage but that's gonna be it for this video just wanted to go ahead and go over some of my applications that i would recommend for anybody to check out and download for their macbook or macbook pro doesn't matter all these applications are free to download and they definitely do give you an overall better mac experience so if you enjoyed this video found this video very informative and useful be sure to leave this video a big thumbs up as not only lets me know but that also strongly helps support the channel since youtube is like a weird number game so any support like that will help out a lot and also check in the video description down below as that's where all these links to these applications will be located and don't forget to also hit that subscribe button especially if you enjoy videos like this for any tips or tricks or even up-to-date products again any support like that if you could offer will definitely help me out Anyways, that's going to be it for this video again. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.